So we're working on this projects concept and we're going to need a projects table to house all of our data related to projects. And we can do this by creating a new migration. So the command is craft migration and here we'll give it a migration name. So in this case, we're creating a projects table. So we'll say that. So we'll say create projects table. Now, if the table already exists and we're extending it, we could say dash dash table projects. But in this case, we're creating it. So we have to say dash dash create projects. It was created successfully. So if you remember from our previous tutorial, this created a new migration inside the database slash migrations directory. So left hand side, databases, migrations directory. And now we have a new migration here. Now you'll notice that we have some default values here, such as increments, which is our primary key and timestamps, which makes a created at and updated at time field for us. Now Orator manages those two fields for us, so it's not like those fields are adding any overhead to our logic. So it's typically a good idea to keep them. Now we're creating a project, so we'll need a table.string, and we'll call this a name, so we'll have a project name. We'll need a description, so we'll make that a text, and we'll call it description. And now lastly, we want some kind of manager to control the project, and we'll want that manager to be a user. So in this case, we'll need to create a foreign key from this projects table to the users table. So in order to do that, we'll create a table.integer, which is a manager ID, we'll call it, and we'll make that unsigned since we'll need that to be a foreign key. Now this just creates the column, but we also need to create the actual foreign key itself. Now in order to do that, it's super simple. We'll just need to specify the foreign key for the manager ID, which references the ID on the users table. And that's it, that sets up your foreign key relationship. So now let's go ahead and migrate that. We'll just need to run craft migrate again. Now inside our database client, if we refresh, we'll now see a projects table with all of the fields that we specified. Now in the next video, we'll talk about models and how to interact with this data. And we'll be able to fetch it and create it and update it and all that fun stuff. All right, I'll see you in the next video.